Alright, so you remember the adventures without Rocky and Bullwinkle? Of course not, because no one would ever do that. Well, they decided to make a Scooby-Doo movie without Scoobs himself. It's just about Daphne looking like Kiersey Clemens and Mia Malkova, and Velma looking like Dora the Explorer and Tina. I'm not saying that the movie's inherently bad, right? I'm always looking for new Scooby-Doo stuff, and this is coming from your girl Sharpay's own production company. I just don't know if you can really have a mystery without the rest of the gang. Let me explain. So these two are both in high school and they met online just like, you know, everyone else does in 2018. And Daphne's actually half black in this movie, which is completely fine. You know, she's based off of a cartoon. All that really matters is that they have her look like her and that she's still the spoiled brat that she is. Not, you know, doing that Mary Jane switch. Where they couldn't even get the red hair. Pretty much she moves into the same town and school that Velma's going to because her mom is now meeting with this big tech dude that everyone adores. This school is run by his technology, which is pretty much like Facebook stuff. It's got stats on every student. You know the school is rich because their janitors ain't even look like my cousins. And even though they have so many cameras, it's high school, bullying still happens. Velma's embarrassed to meet Daphne, so she starts treating her like that Tinder date you go on and you pretend like you don't know him, even though you picked a place. Thing is, Velma's like Ali Sheedy in The Breakfast Club. She doesn't want to hang out with anybody. She purposely makes herself so low, while Daphne is so spoiled that we figure out her dad literally follows her everywhere in order to do things for her. You're not the luckiest girl in the world, kiddo. Unless you consider me your lucky charm. Damn it, Arwen. That's what you call privilege. I will say that it's pretty funny how the dad was the one giving her the fashion sense and that's why she ends up dressing in these joker colors. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so plum and sage. That's a bold color choice. I don't know how to explain Velma though. So we get to the mystery part of the movie, right? Which is either that the school is super expensive and they can't pay the light bills or that there's damn ghosts in this place. First, the music prodigy in the beginning of the movie disappears and we start hearing her music throughout. This smart guy also gets led down this weird hallway and starts acting like of mice and men. So when the Steve Jobs of this world makes an appearance at the school to premiere his new tech, which is a 3D printer. But what if I told you that this printer was for food? <laughs> it makes you go, wait a minute. This man is stealing these kids' ideas. This man's a drake. Turns out that this dude is a collector of children. He's literally got him in test tubes. He's updating their socials for them. He's taking away their knowledge. And right when Daphne and Velma are about to figure out what's going on, this ghost appears who is, it's her dad again, floating on a hoverboard because of his legs stalking his daughter again. As it turns out, there's yet another twist because every screenwriter in 2018 has been rewatching Up, Up, and Away. And once again, we got kids being hypnotized by sound waves. Even more than that, they steal the villain plotline from Sky High, where it's a girl who's actually the villain, who's actually a lot older, pretending to be a student. She's been using some random model hologram from Japan as a disguise. They got a lot of technology, but they couldn't search that up. She taps into these kids' phones and starts stealing their ideas that she... I would have gotten away with it too. If it weren't for meddling kids. Maybe even faster if they had a dog. Thank you guys for checking out this video. Very short one, like I said. I didn't even know uh, Tisdale had her own production company. I guess this is one to stream on Netflix. ABC Family, I don't know, they changed the name Freeform, whatever it's called. It's okay, it's not as bad as people were gonna make it out to be, but it's also like, I don't know, nothing special. It ends on a little cliffhanger where they just got another mystery to solve. Looks like the Cyber Chase dude, but it, it's it's not much. I'm curious to know your thoughts down below, however, if, you know, I saved you money from renting this bad boy, or if there's any ones that you want me to cover, let me know, comment, and subscribe, and I will send you a Scooby Snack.